Hi, and welcome to Knit and Deb's Nook. Today I have an unboxing from Saner Direct of a diamond painting and a um, storage tray um, thing for when you're diamond painting. So uh, first I'm going to do the diamond painting because I'm going to assemble this on the video. So they come packaged in a nice box. Um, there is no picture on the end of what it is, so let's open it up and see. Okay. There are baggies and your basic toolkit. Um, a ooh, a four placer and a seven or eight placer. Very nice, nice piece of wax. Here's the bag of diamonds with Oh, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. So here are is the color chart. Here's it gives you instructions on how to how to do a diamond painting. So if you've never done one, it gives good instructions. Here's the colors. Oh, lots of browns and oranges. White, peach, lattes and coffees, orange, pumpkin, hot chocolate, lots of nice, nice dark color and black. And these are nice squares. Um, I don't see any trash in there. Looks pretty good. The um, package has the DMC code on them, which is very nice. So let's see if we can figure out what it could be. Now, can't roll this one because it's um, double-sided tape. So we will pull this back. Can you see what it could be? I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to pull this all the way off, but I think it could be a tiger. Which that explains the oranges and the browns. That'll be very pretty. So over here on the side, you've got the legend with the symbol and the DMC number. Um, I don't know if you can see how clear Lots of <laughs> odd looking symbols too. There's um, symbols I don't, not familiar with. So this will be interesting. So that's a mystery diamond. It's very nice, um, nice, nice and sticky. Squares, I haven't done a square mystery yet. So you've got also a key code over here on the bottom. And this is, you can find them at facebook.com saner direct or on instagram.com saner direct and uh, I, this is a 30 by 40 so that's a good size and we got our what I think is tiger colors so that's on the diamond painting and I will show um, a picture of this when it's completed I'm going to put that aside, get started on that one later. Now this is a storage. There's rubber rings in that baggie. Tray storage for 
when you're doing diamond painting with lots of different colors. That's your instructions to put it together, I hope. What oh, even comes with all the trays? I don't see any directions. Oh boy. <laughs> I hope it's not too hard. Uh, let's see. I may or may not put this together while I'm talking on this video because I might have to get my, well, maybe not. Maybe it is going to be simple. Then anybody can put it together. This is probably the base. Then this needs to go up. These just got slots. This is a chipboard. That would be the base. Then over on the edges. Everything is tab fit together. Now, no, if my husband were to put this together for me, he would take wood glue and he would just make it real secure. We'll, we'll see how sturdy it is. The hardest part is getting these lined up. you're off camera to do this I might speed up through here but the struggle's real you might want to see that to see if you want to I don't, so there must be something wrong here I guess if they are lined up better what do you say? Should I shut the video off? <laughs> and wait for my husband to put it together, or should I keep going? I might have to edit this. <laughs> Sane or direct, you need to put instructions in here. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but there might be an easier way to uh, line these up for... Oh, having fun is what life is all about, right? This one doesn't want to line up. Ta-da! Got that side lined up now. Drop the end. <laughs> oh my goodness, the floor is too far away today. You ever have those days when the floor is too far away? <laughs> If you're young, you know, try to keep stay limber so that when you're old, you can reach the floor doesn't get farther away. <laughs> I'm I'm getting it. I'm getting it. So you all will be able to do this. Okay. The end pieces are on and now we've got the stabilizing center sections. This is very clever. You know, my my husband is probably going to want to take this apart and put it together just, just because it is a puzzle. And there I did it. I, well, I spoke too soon, that one came out. There we go. That wasn't so bad, was it? Lots of laughs, and especially if you have some happy coffee or happy caps you've taken for the day. Okay, so we've got shelves here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Ooh, this one's dirty. Sander Direct Quality Control. Eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12 colors. And then I don't have any, and we'll get the um, diamond painting tray stuff that I got. Are you seeing all this? And then they've got these holes all lined up. Put your diamond painting pens. And you could put your, I've got a Stampin' Up pick tool, which has the wax on the end. It'll be coming right, wow, this works great, by the way, for picking up ABs. And then there's a pick at the other end, or you could have a spatula at the other end for picking up things. That can fit in there. So you can put some tools into this place. So that's pretty neat. And there's extra baggies for your leftovers in, in the diamond painting kit. So that is all from Sainter Direct. Holds 12 colors. So if you have um, a lot of diamond paintings with more colors than that, buy two of these. And you can you too can put it together <laughs> so very nice it's very nice and sturdy i like it the other one i have is plastic which is sturdy too but this is i like this and i may have my husband glue it but you don't have to it's sturdy enough as it is because diamonds don't weigh a lot so there you have it that's my products from saner direct and have a great day Oh, these rubber things came with it, and I'm not sure how they're to be used. Again, Saner Direct, please put directions in the box so we know what to use these for. I know my husband will know. Um, it may, may be to lock on the tabs, keep them from coming off. I Let's see. I think they would just pop off, so I'm not sure. I am not sure where they're for. I put one on here, but that, that'll just pop off, I, I think. There's enough that could go on all the tabs. That, yeah, maybe my husband will figure it out. If I figure it out, I'll do another add-on to this well, not to this video because it'll be published, but I'll let you know in uh, maybe Instagram. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. Okay, I did put the rubber rings on all the tabs. There are little notches, and that just does seem to firm it up even a little bit more. There you have it. It's a little warped, but in this case, it'll be good. It'll with the weight of the diamonds that'll uncurl. So there you have it, that the little rings do firm up the fit fittings. Okay, have a great day.